This is the radiator guard that I opted for. It's around $50 or so. Got mine on Amazon. It is made out of aluminum and it's got a very nice octagonal pattern to the holes stamped through the radiator guard. And it shall serve the function without being overly priced. So as we know, the radiator fins are very fragile on these bikes. So by placing a radiator guard over the front of that will help mitigate lots of issues with rocks, bugs, splashes, and it really will help out on the longevity of our radiator. So to get started on this installation here, I'm going to remove some of the stock covers and see what we got underneath. So after removing that cover, we have discovered some of our fuse holders. This one is the 15 amp fuel injection, the 10 amp meter, 15 amp spare. Here I have a 10 amp ignition, 15 amp head, probably for headlight, 15 amp fan, 10 amp for the brake and horn, and a 10 amp spare. It appears that our radiator guard is going to use this stock bolt hole which holds the cover on to the bike. So I'm going to remove the cover on the other side. As I suspected, I slipped one tang underneath the guard and put the bolt through on that end. I then raise this up and let the little clips go over the top of the radiator there. At which point that's going to allow the bolt to this opposite side guard to slip through here and retain the radiator guard in place. So I decided to put a very small piece of the anti-vibration tape at the top where each upper bracket is just in case I get a little vibration and I'm not getting metal on metal rubbing. And of course, very simple matter, putting the deco plates back on. and quickly clean any fingerprints off we're good to go so there you have it radiator guard super easy fast install and very functional thanks for watching so thank you everyone for coming today give me a thumbs up and while you're at it subscribe to my channel and we will be doing a lot more videos just for you. Thanks again.